What's up, basketball fans? Welcome back to Time Out. With me, Rocky Padilla, and right now I have one of the best basketball players for Asian Games, Arky Wisdom. How are you doing, Arky? Good, bro. It's a pleasure to be here. Appreciate it. Thank you for being on my channel again. Yes, sir. So, Arky, go look up them, Tama. Come on, man. He's done this so many times that he's still nervous. It's okay. <laughs> no cut. No yeah, cut. Okay, okay so uh, we're only a few days away from Asian Games. All right. Uh, I bet all the players cannot wait. Yeah. And then, uh, how excited are you to be playing the Asian Games? You know, we're excited. You know, we've been. This is what we've been working hard for uh, this whole summer. You know, we've been so busy making sacrifices, taking time out of our lives. You know, to prepare for this big event. So you know, it's finally happening. It's gonna be uh, like it's like less than like a few days. So you know, we're excited. Can't wait. So, do you consider Asian Games as the biggest tournament that you're gonna play in? Uh, in my professional career, yeah. I would say yeah, probably. Uh, you know, especially that probably the highest before was probably like Sea Games, and this is a level above Sea Games. So, you know, after that, I mean, hopefully this is not gonna be my biggest, but I mean, it's one of my biggest events. Okay. And then I've been watching it the last three months, killing in the William Jones Cup, and even in the FIBA uh, Champions Cup. I see that you in the like. Top performance, I'm sorry, best shape I think in your career right now. So, how, what's your mindset heading into the Asian game? You know, I'm just, I'm just focused right now. You know, whatever the team needs me to do, you know, I'm trying to do that. You know, I know I'm going to be playing against some of the best players in Asia. So, you know, we, we have to be in shape. We cannot not be in shape against against these these top Asian teams. Like that'd be crazy. So, you know. Uh, for you to notice, you know, thank you, you know, I have lost a little weight. <laughs> you have to read a lot and implement it all, but who is LeBron James? James Harden. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, everybody just, speak you see, hey, you see Pleat the Giant, right? You can't, you can't speak the Giant. Yeah. Yeah, they got something wrong oh. with me. They, they hate right now. <laughs> Maybe it's because... <laughs> <laughs> From from Chelles Night, San Sani Kusuma, you know, Bianca. <laughs> okay, and then man, they're catching our interviews. But your first game on the 14 against the defending champions, Korea. You guys almost beat them. You like what? Six minutes away from beating them in the William Jones Cup. Yeah. I think that game is a gift and a curse for you guys. Why I say that? Because it's a gift because, of course, boost your confidence level. Yeah. But it's just a curse because you almost beat Korea, and then everybody now have high expectations of you guys to perform really well. Would you agree with that? Um, somewhat, sort of. But I mean, it's like you know, that was the first time we actually played against Korea, like face to face. Like we never, you know, we usually play Southeast Asian team and stuff like that. So for us to see that, see them, and walk, like have a little expectation, a preview of what we're we're going to see, you know, it was good for us. And the point of um, like we almost beat them, like to me, I mean, yeah, it might be a little confidence booster, but you know, that's the past. We can't we can't dwell in that. You know, it's, it's going to be a new game. You know, we don't even know maybe the roster might be different too. So like we're not we're not worried about that. But as long as we know, like okay, this is what we we have to expect. This is what we got to see and uh, adjust and be ready for and prepare for them. And so you know, it's good. So you guys are going to be on the on the same group with Thailand and Mongolia also. Do you know anything? We know, we all know about Thailand. Yeah. Mostly they're gonna have the same player probably. But do you know anything about Mongolia? So be honest, not really. Uh, I mean, I played against Mongolia in 3x3 before, but 3x3 and 5x5 is two different things. So uh, honestly, I don't know other than Mongolia barbecue. I don't really know that much about Mongolia. <laughs> that was funny. Though. But obviously. Uh, you guys been together what? Four months now? Yeah. Three months, four months. What can you learn though? What did you learn about this about this roster? Uh, you know there's there. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't forget to follow Safarius <laughs> at Safarius probably 830, alright? IG, I got you. I got you, Hart James Harden. James Harden of Indonesia. Uh, man, you just cannot shut up right now. <laughs> Yo, next video is gonna be Eels, don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, what but was the question? I was asking about, you guys been together for four months now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you learn about this team? Oh, you know, I mean, we all, we're, we're not a perfect team. We have our disadvantages, but we also have our advantages. You know, these guys, they, they work hard, you know, regardless of what the naysayers say. You know, they say we're too short, we're not good, we're this, we're that. But you know what? 
regardless of what you got, uh, people are saying, you know, they, they still fight, they still playing, like, you know, they, they, they're representing Indonesia and, you know, that, that's going to be our, our, our key, is going to be playing tough and, and just playing the way we know how we play basketball. And then, last one, Uncle Ro, Mario Wilson just announced his retirement. I know you're pretty close with Uncle Ro. Yeah, yeah. So what was your initial reaction to what you found out about the news? And I was kind of, first I woke up, you know, I wake up, open Instagram, I'm like, yo, he posted retirement, I'm like, dang, so it's official. And I'm a little disappointed because, you know, to me, he can still play like three, four years, you know. I mean, he might be the only close to 40-year-old with a six-pack. I mean, <laughs> all his shirt, all his posts on Instagram are shirtless. So, I mean, he's still in shape. I mean, good luck to him, you know. Uh, everybody knows who, who he is. He left a good legacy behind, you know, behind Indonesia's success. You know, Mario Rusa's name is going to come up. You know, he's, he's done his part. You know, I guess he feels it's time for him to move on. Respect to him, you know. You know, he's a good friend and good luck to, to his life after basketball, you know, professionally. And, you know, we're going to see him soon, you know. So, Maybe Arky, as a coach. As a coach. Hopefully he'll be back for as a coach, though. Arky, thank you so much, man. Hey, thank you. Fun interview. No good luck in the Asian Games. Hey, thank you. Got everything for you guys. Thank you, I'll be you. taking pictures on the side. Hey, make sure you catch my good side. <laughs> yeah, right. I will. So, guys, don't forget to follow Arky Wisno on Instagram at Arky underscore Wisno33. So, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you after Asian Games.